I'm going to show you the exact method I personally use, which has helped me rank thousands of websites on page one of Google. And I'll walk you through it step by step. Getting a page one on Google isn't rocket science. It's just about being realistic with your goals and keywords and then following all the steps I'm going to show you without cutting any corners. This is the most important step as you need to select keywords that are achievable so all your efforts don't go to waste. You won't put a bet on if you didn't know the odds first, would you? Spending the time researching gives you the odds so you're only backing winning keywords. To do this, I use a tool called SE Rankings, which is a great tool for keyword research as it gives you all the information you need. Then you can make an informative decision, including search ideas, volume, and difficulty. You first want to come up with a list of keywords that relate to your business that you believe customers would enter to find you. For example, if you're a solicitor, you might want to be found for solicitor in your area or will writing in your area, for example. Just write down a selection and you can test them out. Once you have these, load up the SE Ranking website and type in one of your keywords, which will then come back and not only give you stats about the keyword entered, but give you a nice bunch of keywords that relate to that keyword. This is where it's important to be directed by the stats, as these will give you the best opportunity of being found. You'll want to focus on three areas. The first is relevance, as you'll want to ensure that the keywords are focusing on the actual relevance of your business. If you own a gym, for example, and one of your keywords suggested is gym equipment online, the intent of this search will be for someone wanting to buy gym equipment, not someone wanting to go to the gym and train. So you want to avoid this type of keyword. The next area is difficulty. As the name suggests, this is how difficult it will be for your keyword to rank on Google. This is color coded with green being the easiest, orange being moderate and red being, let's not even go there. The final area is search volume, which is the amount of monthly searches performed per month by that keyword. The magic formula is to pick a relevant keyword that is ideally green or orange. Personally though, I like to focus on any green keywords first before moving on to an orange. As like anything in life, you're motivated by results. So if you can see this working, it will drive you forward to focus on more difficult and time consuming keywords. Another great way of finding keywords is to use the Google's auto suggest tool. If you head over to Google and type in one of your keywords, then scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see a list of keywords that Google suggests. The great thing about this is that these keywords are usually trending and long tail keywords, which means they are easy to be ranked for. Now you have your keywords, you need to create a page or a post on your website for each of these. If your keyword is informative, for example, the best way to choose a holiday, it would be better as a blog post. If your keyword is directly related to a product or service like carpet cleaning in London, then a page would be better suited. There are no two ways about it. Your content needs to be good. In fact, it needs to be amazing. Content exists solely to help people, which in turn builds customers and creates trust with them. This means you should be producing original, engaging content that people want to read. Not just the first paragraph, but the whole page. You used to be able to fake your way to the top of Google with keyword stuffing and black hat SEO methods. However, Google now uses things like view duration, bounce rates, and scroll depth in their ranking factors. All of these will only be achievable if the user lands on your page and then stays and reads the content. You can't fake this, and the only way to do it is by creating content that people want to read. The amount of content you write should depend on the search intent for the keyword. If your keyword is buy gym equipment online, for example, then the intent of this user is going to be a lot higher as they're ready to buy, so you won't need to write as much content. This will lend itself to an e-commerce style website, so simply mentioning the keyword in your title, meta description, and in a paragraph of content can work. However, if your keyword is how to do a bench press, for example, this type of keyword is informative. You really need to give the person as much information as possible in an easy to follow format that can be easily digested by the reader. In other words, write how you want to read the content, like a human being with a personality, a viewpoint and actual expertise in that area. You can see from this example, they have gone into detail about a bench press how to do one and what the different types of them are. This goes above and beyond the type of content that the user was expecting, ensuring they stick around and read more. 
piece of content alone is not enough for a user to stick around and read. You need to present it in a format that says, come on in, I'm easy to read. You need to remember that people skim content. They don't actually read it word for word. So you need to present it in a way that enables them to do this with ease. It's important also that you give them information related to the search straight away. Don't make them go hunting for it. If you have a look at this example, how do I create trainer puppy? You'll see not only do they get straight into the key points, they also have a video which details this. I love this method as long articles can be difficult to follow. So although you can read more, you can also dive straight into the key points. It's also laid out with headings, bite-sized chunks of content, bold text and images. These techniques are key to creating content that people want to read without getting overwhelmed. Obviously, it's important to ensure that you follow basic SEO practices. The importance of this has fallen over time though due to Google putting more emphasis on content. A well-crafted piece of content will always outperform bad content that has been stuffed with keywords. That being said, we want to follow best practices and cover all bases. First, you need to enter the keyword into the title and meta description of your page. This is the title and description that appear on Google when you do a search. Your meta description needs to also entice a user to click, so write this in a persuasive way. You then want to include this into the header of your page. This has a dual purpose, as it emphasises to the person that they're on the right page, which is important to show the user that they're on the right page straight away. Finally, you need to enter this three to four times within the content of the page, making sure it's used once within the first few hundred words. Backlinks are crucial for any successful SEO campaign, as they tell Google your website is trustworthy and worth looking at. There are multiple ways to gain backlinks, and it's worth doing them all so you stand the best opportunity of being found. The first method is to create a tool that others will want to embed or link into their website. Then give it them for free. Yes, I said free. Everyone loves a free tool, and giving it to them for free just means that they will link it on their website or shout about it on their social media. An example of this is if you sell diet plans, you could create a free BMI calculator and allow other companies to link or embed it into their websites. Obviously, you might not be Bill Gates and be able to code something like this, but you can do it fairly cheaply these days with websites like Upwork or Fiverr. Another great method is to create statistic-based content for your website that a blog or news writer will want to reference. Because writers will want to include stats in their articles, they will also want to reference the site it came from, creating a nice backlink for your website. Using the same keyword selecting method at the beginning of this video, you can find statistic-based keywords that have low competition with high search volume. In this example by money.co.uk, they have created an article about mortgage approval rates for first-time buyers. As you can see, they have included accurate stats that provide as much relevant information as possible, which as you can see from SE Ranking, this has created an impressive 49 backlinks for them. Finally, although an oldie, writing a guest post for free for other people's websites can still provide valuable backlinks for high authority websites. This method is where you would write a well-written piece of content that another website will want to post, which includes a nice link back to your website. For this to work, instead of just sending out thousands of emails spamming people's accounts, hoping to catch a reply, make sure you do your research first. If you want to get a link from Peloton, the home gym supplier, you need to look at their competitors and see what they are linking for but Peloton aren't. Again, you can do this by using SE Ranking. They have a great organic traffic research tool, which then will show you various keywords that their competitors are ranking for. You'll want to pick a keyword that has a good number of searches with low to medium difficulty. Obviously, making sure that they don't rank for this already. This keyword, six month marathon training plan, seems to be ideal as it has all three of these criteria. Once you have this, drop them the following email which converts like crazy. Hey Bob, I was doing some research for one of my customers and found a great topic that I think you could easily generate some great traffic from. In fact, one of your competitors already ranks for this, but they have a fraction of your authority, so I'm sure you could easily outperform them. The subject is six month marathon training plan. Anyway, I'd love to write this for you, free of course, in the form of a guest post, if this sounds good to you. I've actually done this before, 
which now is ranked four for their topic. Let me know if you'd be happy for me to do this and I'll start on it straight away for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure you subscribe for future videos. And if you have a spare minute, why not check out one of my other videos?